What is going on YouTube? Up and Adam here and today I have another Madden 22 video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the new Bow Nose Legends and how we are going to take advantage of the market to make a ton of coins off of them. Before we jump into this video, we are getting very, very close to that 3,000 sub mark. Let's leave a, a like goal on this video of about 50 likes if you enjoyed this video, if it was informative. Please hit that like button, hit that sub button on the channel. We're really trying to push 3,000 by the end of the year. I think we can do it. Anyways, let's go and take a look at the new Bow Nose Legends coming to Madden. First, we have Barry Sanders. I, I've had a feeling we were gonna get this card. I'm really, really happy with it. 94 speed, 93 acceleration, 94 agility, 89 carrying. His change of direction to 94, powered up will be 95, and he has a 93 break tackle. Really, really solid card here. Really excited to use this. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I think this is gonna be a really solid back in Madden 22. I think a lot of people will be grabbing this one, which is gonna make the coin making very, very profitable. Next up, we have John Lynch, all right? He is a strong safety. Yes, you're probably wondering, we already have John Lynch team captain. Will he just upgrade with that or is it a separate entity? Like, I again, I don't really know for sure yet, but it seems like we're gonna be getting a separate card here with that power up symbol at the, at the bottom of his name you can see it right at the way right over here it shows that power up symbol meaning or it leads me to believe that he's gonna have a separate power up and it'll be separate from his team captain i could totally be wrong on that we'll find out in the morning but i am recording this video the night before so if anything changes i'll put it into the description or i'll put it into the comments um in the in the channel here okay so then at least you can see but if it's, if it's a separate card that's kind of, it's not that bad either, then you could change your team captain. So you could have John Lynch and then another team captain, which would be nice. All right, so the stats are pretty solid on this card as a safety. Next up, we have Anthony Munoz, left tackle, 93 strength. Again, really solid O-line. It's an O-line. I'm not going to go too deep into the stats here, but looks really solid. Might be a really nice pickup for any uh, Anthony Munoz fans out there. And then the last one we have is going to be this left outside linebacker, Dave Robinson, Green Bay Packer linebacker. Honestly, like card looks fine. Again, I don't really use linebackers on my field, but if you do, this card might be for you if you are interested. So there you go. Those are the four new bow nose um, legends coming to Madden. And now let's talk about the most important, how to make coins off of these, how to really profit and let's build that coin stack before zero chill. Let's get it. First thing I want to talk about is if you watched my past videos, I mentioned that if we continue to get 94 overall bow nose legends, the price of these 85s are going to make you coins. I was buying these 85s for about like 6.5 to 7,000 coins. All right. And now they jumped up already the night before. This is this is Sunday night when I'm recording this. They're about 8.5 already. I expected them, I expect them to go back up to like 8.7 once they are actually in game. I think this might be another way to make some extra coins throughout the week. So buy these for like 6.5 on like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and like Sunday morning, and then sell them on Sunday evening and Monday morning for like 8.7 thousand. That could be a nice way to make some extra coins uh, as long as they stay at the 94 overall mark, okay? So there you go. That's one way I told you, I told a lot of people about this earlier in the week. So always try to find ways to make coins. So make sure you hit that noti bell on. So every time I get a new coin making method, I will post it on the channel. Having those noti bells on really, really does help, okay? So now let's go ahead and check out the spreadsheets because that is where we're going to show all the coin making. Shout out to my guy Mutt Lane for building this amazing spreadsheet catalog that we have here. But under the bow nose category, you have all the new bow nose players. Okay, we have like the one by their name if they are week, the week one release, week two release, and now week three release. So we have the Barry Sanders, his power up, Munoz, his power up, Dave Robinson, and John Lynch and their power ups. Okay. Obviously, I can't add the prices yet because I'm recording this Sunday evening. They're not actually in the game. So I will update this as soon as they come out so I can check out the prices. But if you were getting your, your Bow Nose 85s for about 7000 it's only going to cost you about 210 to build. When Randall Cunningham and all these other new cards came out, you're selling the, the card itself for about 200 and then the power for like fifty to 60000 So there was some profit there. But now that they're going for about like 8.5, 
there's not really going to be any profit because it's going to cost you about 250,000 coins to build and they're not really going to go for more than that. So you have to have gotten your 85s earlier. But I am going to show you another way that you can take a little bit of a chance and maybe make some coins. So let's jump into the bow nose rerolls. Let me go check and show you in the game what those mean. And then I'm going to show you the spreadsheet for it. So we hopped into the store. If you go all the way to the right here, go to the training section, you can see these 85 plus overall bow nose players. These cost you 1300 training and you have a chance of pulling an 85 or a 94. So you can get any of the 85s or the 94s. Those are the only two cars that you're going to be getting 85 or 94. That's the only thing. All right. So they cost 1300 training. So I told you this past weekend to grab training because training is going to go up when we have these rerolls and people want these new cards. Training is going to go up. So that is why you want to get your training at the cheapest possible time, which would be on Saturday. Let's go ahead and look at the spreadsheet and show you the data to go along these rerolls. So as of right now, training is shot up to about nine coins per on Sunday night. But I did get a lot of my training personally for about 7.5 coins per training on Saturday when the new legends dropped and people were just selling a bunch of stuff. I was able to pick up a lot of training about like 90,000 training around 7.5 coins per. Okay, obviously your number might change depending on when you got your training. If you still have some for Blitz, uh, from Blitz, sorry, you probably have it at like six coins per, but I, I sold a lot of my stuff from Blitz already. And now we are just grabbing some extra training. So we have our training for about 7.5. If you open up 39,000 training worth, you can get 30 of these packs. And if you roll, this is, these are just examples right now. We can see the price of 85s are selling for about 8.5 on the block right now, pretty fast. And 94s are about 170. So if you roll and you get 29 85s and 194, you are going to make a profit of 107,000 coins after tax. However, if you roll and you don't get a single 94, all right, in your roll of 30, you're going to lose. All right, you're going to lose. I'm personally going to lose 37,500 because I got my training at 7.5. If you're getting your training at like 8 or 8.5, you're going to lose a little bit more. So for example, at 8.5, you're going to lose a seven, about 76,000 per roll. So obviously not great. That is a little bit risky. So I wouldn't recommend you going in on this unless you got your training for under uh, 8. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. However, if you go ahead and get, you pull two, uh, sorry, 2885s and then 294s in that roll of 30, you're going to make 250,000 coins. So for me, I believe it's going to be worth the risk for me. So I can potentially lose 37,000 coins, or I can make a decent amount if I pull 194. So again, what is your risk factor? If you're not willing to risk any coins, do not, do not go in on this method. Okay, because this one is a lot more risky than other methods I put on the channel. All right. So if you're looking for like very safe and easy methods that you're not going to risk your coins, there is a lot of other methods on my on my channel that you can go and check out. This one is going to be for those who are willing to risk a little bit and hoping to get some really big reward. All right. So there you go. That is the data. So if you roll 30 packs and get no 94s, you're going to lose coins. But even if you just get one, like you're going to make a decent amount of coins, all right? But if you got your training for like 8.5 right now, because that's what is sitting around on MuttGG, 8.5, you're only going to make about 68,000. So be careful what you what you got your training for. And I would say if you don't didn't get your training for under eight, probably not going to be the best best risk reward method for you out there. Okay, so there you go. That is going to be the bow nose rerolls and the bow nose players should you jump in on this method that's gonna be up to you if you want to risk it go for it if not don't i have nine million coins up in there all right i have about a hundred thousand training sitting in the binder that i bought on the weekend so i'm gonna go in on it if you want to watch me do this i'll be probably live at the time of you watching this on twitch so go and check out the twitch channel all right i'll be live probably till like 11 11 30 a.m eastern time so come and check me out if you're interested in seeing some of the roles and how they work, okay? Anyways, I'll catch you with another video very soon. Let's keep crushing that like goal and that sub goal. 50 likes in this video, all right? And let's see if we can get at least 10 new subscribers on the channel as well. I'll catch you with another video very soon.